Hello my beautiful people, how are you? Today I'm gonna talk about my experience with applying cluster lashes by myself at home. So if you guys are interested to see what I think, thank you for watching. Okay, listen, I really want this video to be a short one. I already made a list with the prawns pros well with the pro and cons i definitely have more pros than cons but keep in mind there are cons as well so should i start with the bad news first because yeah i think we should uh, i'm gonna start with the cons again keep in mind that this is just my experience with wearing cluster lashes or applying cluster lashes by myself at home by the way right now i do not have them on because i i'm giving my lashes a break so that's a con or maybe a pro i don't know uh as i said i did took notes i'm gonna start with this and this is the most hard one my goodness, my cats, they are playing. So first of all, no matter what you apply on your lashes, it will... I'm talking about lash extensions, okay? Either they are individual lash extensions, like one by one, or clusters, or no matter what, they will still damage your lashes, okay? I experienced that, I noticed that, uh, I speak from my own experience here, as I already said. So yeah, it definitely damages your natural lashes but don't think you're gonna end up with no lashes at all you just you're gonna lose a little bit more lashes um even though i do remove them how you're supposed to remove them so you don't experience you know losing a lot of natural lashes so that's definitely a con you're gonna experience some damage uh, of your natural lashes but no worries in like two weeks they are good as new because somehow they grow and they renew super fast and if you use a lash serum oh my goodness 10 out of 10 bitch you know what you're doing okay i apparently don't know what i'm doing because i'm not i'm sorry i didn't shave i don't wanna <laughs> anyway don't look okay apparently i don't know what i'm doing because i don't have a lash serum i should get one if you guys have one that you love and adore and you see good results please let it down below it's been like a little bit more than two weeks since i haven't applied cluster lashes i like my lashes are back how they used to be before applying cluster lashes so that's the first con okay it, it will definitely damages your natural lashes but it is what it is you know we pay for beauty or we pay to be beautiful another con is that you have to be very careful with what products you apply on your face or closer to your lashes for example i had this uh face cleanser that i don't know what it had inside it didn't have any oils at all like no oils no nothing like moisturizing or anything like that but somehow my lashes were coming off like super easy when i apply that on my lashes and you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to wash them with a q-tip and a little bit of micellar water you know you just like very gentle like a cat you know you have to do that if you want cluster lashes or individual lashes or any type of lash extensions so yeah you have to be very careful what products you apply on your skin or maybe around your eyes cleansing a gel it was a gel and somehow when i applied that on my eyes my lashes were coming off super easy no damage whatsoever i couldn't see any like my natural lashes on the cluster so that i think it was somehow a plus <laughs> first of all i think i should have started with these two products so this is what i'm using okay i use the Erdel dark lash glue for individual lashes and to remove the lashes i use the also from Erdel eyelash adhesive remover let me tell you these two little bitches they burn your eyes like nobody's motherfucker business okay i already have a video on how i apply them and how i remove them definitely go watch that video but i'm telling you i'm telling you this burns 
like hell. I haven't been to hell yet, but it burns. <laughs> so that's another con. Uh, if you have very sensitive like me, biatch, be aware, okay? Another con, which I, I don't know, this is like in between, is that you have to reapply them every other one week, one week and a half, or slash two weeks, depending how good uh, care you take. Uh, of your lashes uh, on me personally it lasted up to two weeks but sometimes I did notice that some of the lash cluster they will like fall off so I will end up with a huge gap in there that's another con because you apply these in clusters and if one cluster comes off you will <laughs> end up with a huge gap in between your lashes no worries that can be an easy fix so you can go and apply another cluster and you're good to go but yeah the thing is that on me personally it lasted up to two weeks as i said uh, not when i use that gel cleanser also once in a while you have to give your natural lashes a little break to let them recover i used to do up to two weeks because uh, somehow when I worked, I was like dependent on my um, cluster lashes because it looked like I got ready in like in my sleep, you know what I mean? So I was somehow dependent because I was working, I didn't have time to do my makeup or anything like that. So yeah, make sure you allow your own lashes. That's my cat. She found something to chew. On. make sure you allow your natural lashes to recover so I would say two weeks is uh, just fine okay so that's another con but in that time you can still go and apply your falsies like you would normally do like on top of your natural lashes so it's still a win-win I guess this is a huge ick for me <sighs> I, I hate it, but this is just my experience. For the love of God, I cannot do eyeshadow. Like, I cannot be... What? I can't be very creative with my eyeshadow because I can't see in there, okay? The lashes are, like, up to here. Uh, they are in my brush. I can't get deep in there. I can't get too creative, uh, like, if I want to do an eyeshadow look. So that's another con. Also, when I... Like the days when I want to wear a wing liner is uh, pretty hard for me to do a wing liner. Not the external part, but the internal, like when you, where you're supposed to connect it. Anyway, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me to do eyeshadow and um, wing liner when I'm having my cluster lashes. This is a huge ick, okay? Because if you like to pick your eyes, you can do that. You can do that and you know you have those moments where your eye itches so much you want to like take it off, tickle it and then put it back in. You cannot do that with lashes and it's extremely annoying because I am one of those people that like to do this with my hands until I can't see, it, until everything is black, you know, and I, I know you're not supposed to do that because... Yeah, don't know that. You're not supposed to do that, but I'm those type of persons, okay? So, also, when you wash your face, you cannot go around your eyes because of the lashes. So, try to avoid them if you want to, if you want, if you want them to last longer. Thanks God, I have long nails. So, sometimes I used to do this. Oh, I need to go deep in there. It's not the same thing, but it is an option. So I think that's it for the cons. I don't have anything else. Like I can't think of anything else besides the fact that you can't pick your eyes. The removing solution burns like hell. Uh, I personally can't do like very creative eyeshadow looks or wing liner. The wing liner I can do it, but it 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 will look wonky. Um, so I guess the list wasn't that big. I'm sorry, I guess I tricked you a little bit, right? <laughs> and now for the pros, oh my goodness. Uh, so first of all, when you have them on, uh, like when you wake up in the morning, it's gonna look like you already got ready in your sleep. Does it make sense? 
yes it does if you wear lash extensions you know what the heck i'm talking about it looks like you got ready in your sleep i know they are just lashes but they make such a huge difference when you have them on and no makeup at all you have to try it also your makeup no makeup days they will look fabulous because if you apply just a little bit of foundation brows and maybe lips bitch you are ready to go in like less than five minutes okay so that's a huge pro for me personally i love that feeling looking uh, in the morning in the mirror looking like i got ready but i only have lashes on you have to try it okay it's so easy to apply oh my goodness you have no idea if i can do this by myself at home you can totally do it as well so please trust yourself you can do it just be a little bit careful watch more tutorials watch my tutorials and other people's tutorials like you know um investigate a little bit document yourself and uh, you can do it trust me i know what i'm saying you can do it this i don't know exactly if it's a pro or a con but they last personally on me they last up to two weeks and i freaking love that because can you imagine waking up waking up in the morning with lashes on and looking like you put a lot of effort but you only have lashes on i already said that but yeah i find this a pro you know they last up to two weeks of course you have to remove them and reapply them but the fact that you can get so creative with the lashes like you can apply them however your heart desires and listen it's very cheap it's very cheap because uh, you have a lot of options i bought these from shein and i think i paid two euros don't go on amazon i paid 10 euros for these and uh, they are basically the same thing so do your research buy the cheapest ones because they do the exact same thing as the expensive ones but wait i have a huge tip for you if you don't want like if you don't feel like buying cluster lashes just go with your regular false lashes cut them into clusters and then go and apply them on your eyes it's the exact same thing it's even cheaper if you already have them at home and if you don't feel like going and buy cluster lashes you just want to try this trend you don't know how you feel about it bitch if you have false lashes at home just cut them into small clusters and then go and apply them as i said i'm using this lash glue i find this one the best so far i used i do have other i don't like them so these are the best in my opinion they are from the same brand erdel professional you guys are the best so wow isn't this crazy like it's super cheap you can do it by yourself at home you can do it anytime anytime you have ganas cuando te dan las ganas to do it when you have time you know when you feel like doing your lash extensions at home it's super cheap it's very fast as well it takes me not even i don't think it takes me 10 minutes to apply them okay first of all uh pick your sizes and your styles like uh what i like to do is like to sit them on a paper towel like left eye right eye and uh, sit them perfectly how I want to apply them on my eyes that's super easy for you like that's another tip I'm giving you wow <laughs> uh, make it easier for you to apply and faster so uh, yeah as I said go watch more tutorials online because there's plenty out there also it's super easy to remove as I already said this liquid is like magic in a bottle it does burn I said this like three times already it does burn but it removes them super easy again go watch this video because i'm showing you guys how to apply them and how to remove them super easy with less tears first of all this is a lifesaver okay because as i said you're gonna in the morning you're gonna look like you already got ready in your sleep and then you don't need to apply mascara for like two weeks so that's like saving some money you know what i mean so the fact that this is super affordable <laughs> and so easy to 
do at home by yourself you don't need to make an appointment you need, you don't need to sit for like two hours on this bed for the girl to do your lash extensions you can do it you can do them at home if you don't like them how they look just take the liquid and remove them it's that easy trust me i know what i'm saying and as I said, you can get very creative with the styles you want to do. Like, for example, you want to apply some longer pieces in the center to achieve that doll-like effect. Or maybe you want to apply the longer pieces on the outside to achieve that cat eye effect. I'm telling you, you can get very creative with the styles. And that's a huge pro. I love this. So, uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I love them to me is the fact that if i'm filming youtube videos or tutorials i can't be very creative with the eyeshadows if i have like with the eyeshadow makeup if i have uh the lashes on so that's my main con please let me know if you guys use a lash serum and it works let it down below okay so i guess that's it for today i truly hope you guys find this video uh, helpful if you want to do cluster lashes as I said I have more pros than cons I found more pros and cons and I'm so happy for that and yeah let me know if you guys um, want to try them if you try them if you like the experience if you don't like the experience just let me know all that down below and uh, that's it I uh, will see you guys in my next video bye don't look at my hair, you guys. This is that little... <laughs> it looks crazy. I don't like it. This is a fake bun I bought of Shein. And it's amazing because you can't even tell this is not my hair. It looks messy. You can also make it look a little bit more put together, but it's okay. I think that's it.